It was about 30 years after the Civil War ended that petitioners from both the North and the South began to urge the formation of a national park to preserve the battleground surrounding Vicksburg. Then in 1899, the Vicksburg Park was formed. It was the fifth national military park in America, and included in the park today is the National Cemetery at Vicksburg. It's the second largest national cemetery in the nation behind Arlington, and has more Union Civil War troops buried here than any other national cemetery, more than 17,000. The Vicksburg National Military Park has come to be known as the Art Park. More than 1,400 statues and monuments and markers stop the landscape and interpret what went on here and who was here during the Siege of Vicksburg in 1863. And more than 95% of those markers were erected before 1917. That's the year the National Memorial Reunion and Peace Jubilee took place in the park. Over 8,000 Confederate and Union soldiers came to town and wandered the park and admired the monuments. The entrance arch that you go through today was built with leftover funds budgeted for that reunion. And the icon of the park has to be the Illinois Monument. 47 steps of Georgia limestone, one for each day of the siege. Leads up to the Pantheon like Georgia marble structure on top. A couple of myths associated with the monument. Rain does come through the hole in the roof and an echo in here doesn't go on forever. Just seems like it. Walkers and joggers and bikers break the spell of the otherwise sense of reverence and introspection that washes through the trees on the breezes and hangs in the air on a summer afternoon like the heat. And you wonder what those who were here back then during the war would be thinking today as they look upon the nation that they forged from the fire of battle. Something you could ponder as you tour the park sometime. <laughs>